morning, my name's Sue from LJR Consultancy and I'm going to run through a few of the properties that we represent. I'm going to start off with the Sala properties on um, Phuket and Samui, beginning with um, Sala Samui Chomwon Beach. Um, so this is a lovely boutique property. Um, most of the accommodation has private pool villas. Um, one of its big selling points is it's on a really good location in Samui. Um, as you can see from the map, it's on the northeast coast. It's only 10, 15 minutes from the airport. It's next to a little village called um, Chongmon. Um, so it has the advantage of um, in the day being um, beautifully quiet, lovely, light, nice white beach. Um, but in the evening, if people want options, you've got Chongmon Village, which is about five minutes walk away, which has lots of local restaurants. And then it's about a 10 minute drive to Beauport Fisherman's Village, where you've also got lots of um, nice um, bars, restaurants and some shops. And then um, Chaweng is also about 10 minutes away if you want a little bit more nightlife. Um, it has 69 rooms, villas and suites, of which 59 have got private pools. So these are the leading deluxe balcony rooms on the first floor. So clearly these are the ones that haven't got pools. Uh, as you can see, you've got um, a lovely large balcony. Um, and this is the, um, the room. All of these Sala properties have got an element of the bathroom that's outside. And with these, um, you have the, um, the bath, the, um, which is um, um, open air. Um, next category is the garden pool villa, which is on the ground floor. This is directly underneath the deluxe balcony rooms, but they face different directions. So um, they both are completely private. Um, so as you can see outside, you've got an outdoor patio with a, um, a private um, swimming pool. Next, we have the um, Sala Signature Pool Villas. These are freestanding um, with private garden, day bed and swimming pool with sun loungers. Um, there are also four interconnecting um, signature pool villas, which connect via the outside terrace. As I said, all the bathrooms are open air, so this just gives you an example of what the um, open air bathrooms look like. Then we have the one bedroom pool villa suite, so this has a separate living room um, and a more spacious pool and garden. So you can see you've also got um, gates which can either be open or closed um, for privacy. Um, these ones, if you have a family of four, would probably be the first category I would recommend, otherwise it's a bit of a squeeze. Um, so you could have um, day beds um, or existing um, sofa beds for the two children in the lounge or an extra adult. Uh, next, we have the one bedroom duplex pool villa suites. These are a combination of the deluxe balcony on the top floor and the garden pool villa on the bottom floor. Um, so um, on the top floor, you have a master bedroom and on the ground floor, uh, you have a lounge. But this can also be converted into a bedroom um, and would sleep up to three children. So for a family of five, this works really well. Uh, if you have a pool villa, if you haven't quite got the budget for a, a two bedroom pool villa. Next, we have the two bedroom pool villa suite. Uh, perfect for couples or families traveling together. Um, so this has two ensuite bedrooms and then in the middle it has a separate shared lounge. So this would sleep a maximum of six adults or add squeeze four adults and four children. Next, we have the huge two bedroomed presidential suite. So this has two large bedrooms, each with a private open air bathroom and a common living room. So um, all of the style of properties have a lovely personalized check-in. Clients are given a choice of room amenities, pillows, fragrances, et cetera, that they would like in the room. All of the style of properties also have two lovely large pools, one large beachfront pool to chill and relax, and a second 25 meter adult pool, which is just for swimming lengths. A uh, lovely atmospheric restaurant, really good food actually at all of the salas. It's a mix of Thai Western um, and casual snacks. As I said before, there's also plenty of options to eat outside of the hotel. Um, Award-winning spa as well. Uh, rates start from around 160. Um, Sala are really good on their offers. On the contract, they have up to 30% off. And children under six stay free in the room. We've got some lovely honeymoon value ads. And then they're always topping at their early birds with um, tacticals currently. 
um, on a couple of the room types, they've got up to 40% off the rates until October 24. So that is Sala Chongmon in a nutshell. Next, we'll move on to the other property they have on Samui, which is um, Sala Samui Chawang Beach. Uh, this opened in 2018. Again, it's close to the airport, just a 10 minute drive. Um, and this is on the gorgeous powdery white sands of North Chawang Beach. Um, when I say Chawang, it is um, right at the end, as far north as you can go from the centre of Chawang. So the beach is lovely and quiet. Uh, the beach is every bit as nice as the beach at Chongmon. And yet, if you do want nightlife, then you, you, know, you suggest a seven minute walk in the other direction into the centre of Chawang. Um, this is a more sort of modern, quite trendy, very Instagrammable type of hotel, as you'll see from the pictures. Chongmon is more traditional. Um, uh, so Chao Wang seems to sort of attract perhaps a younger sort of honeymooners, younger couples, um, and also some families. So this is rather like two resorts in one. They've got two separate wings, an oceanfront wing, which you can see in the picture. Um, and the sort of quirky uh, USP about this is that they have pools on the balcony. Um, and then uh, they also have a garden wing as well. So each separate wing has a separate lobby and reception area. And uh, we'll start off with the ocean um, side. So these are the leading ocean front garden pool suites, which are on the ground floor. They have patio doors at the front, which open up onto a grass area um, in front of the beach. And then at the back of the room, you've got a plunge pool. Uh, they're beautiful rooms, but personally for, I think it's about an extra £12 per, per room per night, I would upgrade to the next category up on the next floor, which are the oceanfront balcony pool suites. So as you can see here, you've got your pool on the front this time with views over the sea and the beach. Um, and it's much lighter. It's just a lovely place to sit in the afternoon, read a book, relax and, and use your pool. Um, and then on the top floor, we have the oceanfront one bedroom pool suites. Now, these are twice as wide as the ones that I just showed you because I've got a lounge and a dining area on the side. And it means that the pool is twice as wide. So you've got a really lovely large pool on your balcony. Uh, for those that prefer the more sort of traditional pool villas, um, we've got four of these which are located on, on, the, on, the, on the floor next to the beach. So these are lovely, um, spacious, king-size beds, full-size day bed. And then you've got a large 22 square meter outdoor pool surrounded by a lovely spacious sunbathing deck. So this would sleep two adults and, and two children. And then right on the beach, we have the two bedroom presidential pool villa suite at 286 square meters. This is the largest two bedroom beachfront pool suite in Samui. And it consists of two king bedrooms a lovely large lounge, a large 52 square meter swimming pool and a private sunbathing deck. So comfortably to up to six people. Uh, so we have the tent restaurant on this side of the resort with a separate beach bar. You also have these lovely attractive um, cabanas as well for eating in, option of in-villa dining. Um, the whole resort is built with a lunar theme in mind. So this is the moon swimming pool. So uh, you can see here, it's very sort of Instagrammable. You've got these lovely large white round day beds, etc. There's also a separate kids pool. And then just to show you a picture of the beach, you can see it's right at the end, um, lovely and quiet. So moving over to the, um, the garden wing, these are similar room types to the ones that I showed you at Chongmon. So on the top floor, the first floor, you've got 38 deluxe balcony rooms. Um, just to note with the bathroom, there is a curtain to pull across for privacy. And then on the ground floor underneath, you've got 38 garden pool rooms with a patio and um, outdoor pool area. We've then got some lovely two bedrooms, uh, family and friends suite. So this has an upstairs master bedroom and then a downstairs twin bedroom with a, with a pool area outside. It could actually sleep up to eight. Uh, and then we have the uh, two, two of the two bedroom family and friend grand suites. So these are two spacious um, ensuite bedrooms and also you've got an additional um, living um, and dining room as well. 
So again, you've got your uh, selection of what type of pillow you would like, what type of scent you would like your bathroom amenities to be, et cetera. Um, and then we have the separate garden, garden wing um, restaurant and a cocktail bar, and then another second uh, pool with a second um, kids pool. This is a spa. Again, it follows the uh, lunar theme with six treatment rooms. And then they have a, a well-equipped gym and also Sala's first kids club, age four to under 12, which is complimentary. So uh, rates here start from around um, 180. And again, we've got early birds up to 30% off and a current tactical with up to 37% off. And finally, I'm going to move on to um, Sala Phuket, my cow beach. So this is situated um, on the northeast side of um, Phuket. It's about 15 minutes from the airport. It's in a lovely, quiet, beautiful location. It's in a national park area. So you can walk miles along this beach. It's all protected. You can't have any loungers, cellars, et cetera, on the beach. Um, I'm sure you probably know, but best time to visit uh, Phuket is around sort of November to April time. So um, this has got exactly the same layout, exactly the same room types as Sala Samui Tongwon Beach. Uh, it's just that the rooms that are bigger, uh, the pools are larger, and it has a different type of architecture. It has quite an unusual Sino-Portuguese architecture, which reflects the Chinese-Portuguese history of the island. So of the 79 rooms, 63 have got private pools. Uh, so I just sort of whisked through the rooms. They are they're the same type, but they look a little bit different. So these are the lead-in deluxe balcony rooms on the first floor with the large balcony. Underneath, we have the um, garden pool villas. Uh, just to show you an example of what the, uh, the bathrooms um, look like at Sala Phuket. And then we have 34 signature freestanding um, Sala pool villas. And then the one bedroom pool villa suite, these are good for families. So you would be able to sleep a maximum of two adults and two children as it has a separate lounge. And then the duplex pool villa suite with a master bedroom on the top floor, lounge on the ground floor, which can also accommodate um, two to three children. So then we have the two bedroom pool villa suite with two um, bedrooms and a lounge in the middle. We've also got a lovely outdoor um, sala area as well. Um, and then the two bedroom presidential pool villa suite. So outside you have this lovely manicure grass area, which runs alongside the tree lined beach. So this is the main pool area for relaxing in, which also has an inbuilt jacuzzi. And then next to it, there's a second 30 meter pool for swimming lengths and again, a separate children's pool. Uh, we have the, the uh, same um, personalized check-in. Uh, two restaurants, we have the um, Sala restaurant, um, which also has an option of romantic roof type driving, dining. And then we also have a beach bar, which is fairly new right next to the beach, which serves sort of tapas, snacks, etc. cetera. So sort of quite a cool atmosphere as a DJ in the evening. Uh, also, um, it's, it's in a quiet location, um, but it's not remote. Um, my cow village is about five minutes walk from the hotel. So there's, again, there's quite a few little local restaurants there as well. Uh, they have themed evenings, so um, it might be a barbecue evening, a film evening, uh, they'll have a Thai street food evening. So there's sort of plenty going on in the hotel. There's a couple of other hotels nearby, um, a little few coffee shops, shopping centres, etc. So there's sort of plenty of things um, to do in the evening. Uh, so this is the spa. Again, this follows the Sino-Portuguese uh, design of the hotel. And this is built to evoke the harmony of a tropical Chinese garden. Uh, something new is Sala Farm Life. So this is the uh, sustainability ongoing project. So they have lots of um, hydrophonic greenhouses, growing vegetables and salads, live composting stations. Um, and guests can benefit um, from this project. They've got uh, goats and hens and chickens. 
uh, and ducks that the children can visit. They can collect eggs and then they can go and learn how to cook an omelette, et cetera. There's cooking lessons that adults can do where they can go and collect um, vegetables, et cetera, salad from the garden and then have a cooking lesson. So uh, lots of activities um, to do um, with farmer um, style of farm life also lots of complementary activities within the hotel you've got sunset yoga you've got pilates uh thai boxing you've also got sort of arty activities like candle making painting fans you've got bike ride around the lake uh so lots lots to do in the hotel they can also arrange some nice tours there's a nice elephant sanctuary nearby uh, so rates here start from around 140. Again, you've got this time up to 35% off on the early bird and current offers. I think it's the two bedroomed um, suite as up to 47% off, um, off the rates. So um, that concludes my, um, my solo presentation. So next we'll move on to um, our other property that I'm covering today, which is um, Arva Resort in um, Kanaan. You may well have um, seen it actually. I don't know whether any of you watch uh, Race Across the World, but this week uh, or last week it featured um, Kanaan where two of the couples, uh, one of the couples, sorry, decided to take a side trip to Kanaan because it's famous um, for their pink dolphins, which I will tell you about in a minute. So Kanom is a small country town on the east coast of Thailand. It's virtually unknown, um, but for anybody that is wanting to visit the Thailand of old, um, then it is absolutely perfect. Uh, this is Nadan Beach. This is nine kilometers of, of pure white sand. Um, the whole area has got sort of lots of sort of lovely traditional fishing villages. It's the sort of place where you can hire a little moped, go poodling along the coastline, and there's lots of undiscovered, secret, perfect beaches. As I said, you've got the Canon Pink Dolphins. You can go out on a typical fishing boat and stand a really good chance of spotting the Pink Dolphins. Um, there's apparently only about 2,000 left in the world, and Canon is the epicenter for the Pink Dolphin, so you stand a good chance of seeing them. Um, and the whole area is totally unknown um, for um, mass tourism. So yeah, just to show you on the map where it is, you can see from the arrow, it's more or less opposite Koh Samui. So in terms of getting there, it's a flight down from um, Bangkok to either Suratani or Nakhon Si Tamarat. Um, that's, um, and then they will pick up from the airport, which is about an hour and 15 minutes transfer. Um, also combines really well with Samui. It's a 45 minute journey by ferry um, across from Samui to um, Donzac Pier, and they'll pick up from there. They also pick up from Phuket, um, from Krabi. They'll also pick up from Samui if people prefer. There's some private speedboat transfers you can do from Samui right across to Arva Resort, which is 30 minutes door to door. So lots of options, really good for just um, multi-destinational Thailand as well. Um, so the whole resort is a small resort. It's owned by a Finnish couple. Um, they were backpacking in the area about, about 15, 16 years ago, went to Kanam, totally fell in love with the area and they stayed and they built a hotel. So it's very much sort of Scandinavian on the inside. Um, but on the outside, um, it's got sort of lots of sort of Thai uh, looks to it because it has a Thai architect. So it's only got 27 rooms, it's quite small. Um, these are the leading deluxe bungalows. So uh, these are perfect for families. Uh, they've got connecting, connecting doors. Children um, stay free in the room. They eat free off the children's menu in the restaurant. They've got an amazing kids club, which is from age zero upwards. And they also have complimentary babysitting. So it works really well for children. So this is the room type we would recommend for um, families with small children. Next, we have the superior bungalows, which are slightly larger and have a shared garden. And then we have uh, the poolside villas, which um, are all built around the main pool. So they all have access at the back to the pool. 
Um, as you can see from these as well, you have the most amazing view over the uh, over the beach and the sea. And next we have the um, family villas, which are on three stories. So these are the ones that we probably recommend for families with older children. You could sleep up to a family of six. This is the uh, master bedroom. Uh, you could have, it's also got a little lounge area where you could have a day bed. Um, and then there's the mezzanine floor uh, where you've got either twin or double beds. Uh, you can see from the steps, probably would recommend this for families, maybe with older children. Uh, and then on the top floor, there's a jacuzzi. So in terms of eating, they've got Alto Restaurant, which is lovely restaurant, lovely food. Uh, they too have themed evenings. So they have a Thai night with Thai dancing, a beach barbecue. And then at the weekend, they have chef's wine dinner on the beach. Uh, there's also a few little restaurants you can walk to along the beach and then there's plenty of local restaurants and quite often once you make the booking, um, they will um, provide a transfer service to the restaurant. They also offer Thai cooking classes. Um, also, uh, they're sort of very focused on their uh, wellness as well. They have a small spa, uh, but offer lots of treatments, but they have lots of classes as well. They do a variety of Thai boxing, uh, lots of different types of yoga, Pilates. Um, um, they've got healthy menus if you want them, nutritional lifestyle coaching. Uh, my Thai, um, and if you want, they could do a personalised program. Um, if people wanted to do lots of activities, and also really, really good for a yoga group retreat as well. So I said, great for kids, lovely little kids club. They do lots of activities with the children, and then they also have their in in house Asia tour company. Very, very good English speaking guides. This will be the uh, boat that you would go out on to spot the pink dolphins. So as you can see, there's a pink dolphin there. They just look so surreal um, in the turquoise sea and blue sky. And then you've actually got a pink dolphin. Um, and then they do various other excursions to the Kersok National Park, which includes an elephant sanctuary and Chulan Lake. Uh, you've got the Kwao Lang National Park, where you can visit a coffee plantation, a rubber plantation, trekking and rafting. You can go out snorkeling in the Anthong National Park, which is out towards Samui. And then you've also got a um, Kanom um, uh, local tour as well. So there's lots to do in the area. Um, combines really well with Elephant Hills. It is the only hotel on the East Coast that works with Elephant Hills. So when um, Samui, uh, Phuket, etc., is in low season and you want you to get across to the East Coast, then you obviously get your free transfer with Elephant Hills um, and stay at Arva. So um, every Wednesday and Saturday, they do a complimentary uh, transfer to the walking market. Um, so this is very, very traditional market, not too many uh, European faces. Uh, obviously, they do weddings, Western or Thai and conferences. Uh, they're very good on the sustainability management, um, lots of um, projects that they're working on, and they have Travel Life Gold certified. So a very, very good rate. The net price is from £75 um, per room per night. Um, special offers stay six, pay five. And then depending on how long you stay, you've got various free transfers and a pink elephant and come on sightseeing tours and also um, a 10% early bird. So um, yeah, really amazing um, rates. Uh, so that concludes um, my um, Arthur presentation, but obviously do get in touch with me if you have any questions. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much, Sue. Thank you. Thanks <laughs> a lot. Bye-bye. Okay. okay, bye. Bye-bye.